Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sergeant Cheetos and in today's video, we're dipping our toes into digital drawing and taking a look at Procreate Pocket. So for those of you who are traditional artists like myself who are used to ink and paper, this will be a good tutorial and a good review if you guys are looking into possibly getting into digital drawing. Procreate Pocket is really inexpensive. It's only $4.99 on the App Store. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into drawing. So what we're doing today, we're taking one of my traditional drawings and we're gonna go ahead and turn it into a digital drawing. So let's get started. So as you guys can see on my screen, I have drawings that I've done before of my characters. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the little cross up at the top right and we're gonna go ahead and pull up a square canvas. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and select that wrench. We're gonna select inserted photo and we're gonna go into our albums and pull up an image that we wanna convert from traditional drawing to digital drawing. So I'm selecting a little lizard boy had drawn up for Inktober. So our next step is to make sure that our traditional drawing fits into our canvas. So what I'm doing here, I'm selecting the second option on the movement menu to move it uniformly, meaning it's going to stretch out evenly. That way you don't disfigure your drawing. So next step is we're going to go ahead and select the one on the top left corner. And we're going to go ahead and lower the opacity on this layer so it makes it a lot easier for you to trace over when you're transferring your drawing into digital. That way you can see clearly where your lines are because if they're both the same color, it makes it a little bit difficult to see exactly what you're tracing. So next we're going to select on the top right corner the color option and we're going to make sure we select black. And for the brushes, we're going to make sure to select Studio Pen just because it gives you the best stroke marks whenever you're drawing on a digital canvas. Now let's get into inking this bad boy. All right, and we're gonna select the layer menu on the right hand corner. We're gonna select new layer and we're gonna leave the new layer on the top. That way your tracing can stay on top of the original drawing. All right, let's get to inking. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the benefits that I found useful when doing digital drawing, which is for myself who has a very unsteady hand whenever doing any kind of traditional drawings is that nothing in digital drawing is ever permanent. If you guys see the lines flickering in and out, don't worry, you're not having a stroke, don't call the police, <laughs> don't call the paramedics, you're fine. That's just the way digital drawing works. For anybody who has an unsteady hand, you can undo and redo your lines until you get it to the perfect line and consistency that you want it, which is one feature that I really enjoy, just because like I mentioned, is. Personally, I don't have a very steady hand. So digital drawing on Procreate, I feel like takes your traditional drawings to another level because you can perfect them over time. Like I said, you can spend as much time as you want and eventually get the perfect stroke you want. So anybody that's a doodle artist, I give you mad props just because doing all that line work, man, that's just impressive. So Gox, Mr. Puku, you guys are freaking magicians. I don't know how you guys do it. I just completely have fallen in love with digital drawing myself. I accept it. I'm never going to have those beautiful stroke marks like Mr. Puku. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Puku if you're watching. And for those of you who don't know Mr. Puku, go ahead and check out his channel. I promise you, you won't regret it. His art just kicks ass, man. And another feature I really enjoy from digital drawing is being able to zoom in and out of the drawing. That way you can make sure you get every stroke mark that you want on your drawing. And I mean, you can literally zoom in microscopic. So shout out to my boy, Danny boy and the shrimp gang. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and skip forward to where I finished tracing this drawing and we're going to get into coloring. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go and select the layer menu again. We're going to delete the original drawing. We're going to create new layer and we're going to drag that one under the tracing marks. And what we're going to do, you're going to select that layer number two, the tracing marks and reference it. That way we make sure we can go ahead and color drop and color the drawing without it affecting the lines. That is probably one of the more important things that you will learn from this tutorial is making sure you color and draw in layers. So that way one layer does not affect the other. And next we're going to go ahead and decide the color scheme for this drawing. So what I like using is the color wheel and using the square format to find light colors. So I make sure my drawing pops and all the colors that I choose all complement each other. And for those of you who've never used a color wheel before, 
leave a comment down below if you guys are interested in me making a video on how it works. Just overall, it just gives you a better outcome to your drawings. It's a very useful tool. I highly recommend it. All right, and right here, everybody just pay attention. So as you guys can see, I was trying to drag and drop this purple, but it was coloring the entirety of the pants. So what happened here is I accidentally left open gaps when I was doing the tracing layer. So all you have to do is go back to layer number one and make sure to close those gaps and then you should be good to go. So right here, I'm gonna drop the purple paint back in. We're gonna go back to the layer number two and we're gonna go ahead and color and bing, bang, boom, problem solved. So right here, I'm gonna display another advantage that you have with doing digital drawings, which is I completely forgot to draw the backpack in when I was tracing him. I even forgot to do it when I did the original drawing. So right here, I have the advantage of selecting the original tracing layer and going back in and redrawing the backpack, which if you're doing regular traditional drawing, you're out of luck, man. You completely have to redo your entire drawing just to add that one little feature because most likely, just like my, myself, at this point you had already started coloring. So that's another great advantage that you have when uh, using digital drawing. All right, and another benefit is you're never stuck with the colors that you choose. So I was not enjoying this nasty yellow color I had chosen. So I went back to my color wheel and I found that maybe an orangey brown would go better with this drawing. And from there, I started choosing my colors accordingly to the wheel to make sure they will complement each other like I mentioned. So that way at the end of the video, you guys can see how useful that tool is and how useful digital drawing is in correcting all these mistakes. So if you're a person that makes a lot of mistakes, this is gonna benefit you. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna let you guys enjoy a little bit of this coloring sesh. Hey, feeling fresh, summer recess. Got shorty wearing a cocktail dress. Yeah, she got style in excess. Ain't nobody match her, she the best. Color homie, maybe two. I finna link up and go and get a bro. Cause we ain't got school no more. We ain't got school no more. Got no obligations, so we taking a jet. Flying PJs, cause I'm in my sweats. Tripping to another country, I can't even pronounce. I'm packing much more than I'm allowed. What I'm about, I put a stamp in my passport. Once I have one, man, I'ma need to get more. Yeah, I, I collect them all. I all right, and now we're gonna go ahead and start shading, which first thing to do, we're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna sandwich it in between the both layers and we're gonna go ahead and select the black ink and we're gonna start coloring in the areas that we want to shade. And you guys are gonna select the magic wand and select opacity and lower it. And the reason you put down the black is so you guys can see exactly how dark you want the black. So this one saves you a little bit of time in having to select different colors to add the shading. The black just with the opacity down automatically does it for you, which becomes a huge time saver. And right here, I'm just going to go ahead and go around the drawing and add a little bit of shading here and there. Just make sure to know where your light source is coming from, which for me, I decided the light source is going to be coming from the right. So I'm going to add my shading accordingly. I mean, I'm no professional, so if I do mess up somewhere, don't judge me. But I'm going to go ahead and just skip to the end just because this part is just a little bit boring. And ta-da, the shading is done. So now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and create a background. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new layer. We're going to put it at the very bottom since we obviously want our drawing to be on top. And since I'm pretty bad at making backgrounds, I'm just going to take an image I took off the internet of a beach dune, which that was the theme of my drawing, which he was a little... Uh, beach dune kid that was a theme for October so that's what he is and right here I go ahead and shape it to the canvas and most importantly right here I make sure the Sun is coming from the right side so that way it matches with the shading and lastly is I need to stretch out the little pathway a little bit so then I select the transform on the movement menu which is the first option on the left side that way I can go ahead and shape it to how I need it to fit the drawing. So these are just the final touches I'm doing. And uh, next I'm just going to add a little bit of shading under his feet. Just so he fits in the background. And bing bang boom. We're done. Alright and lastly I want to show you guys a side by side comparison of both drawings. So you guys can tell a huge difference between the digital drawing 
and the traditional drawing, which from now on, I feel like I'm going to start doing a lot more of sketching in pen and pencil and then transferring it over to digital drawing just because I've tried just straight up digital drawing and it's very difficult for me to get a get a hang of it. So I think I'm going to stick to sketching it out on paper and then redrawing it on Procreate or whatever app you guys want to use. But you guys can see a huge difference. I highly recommend Procreate. And I just want to thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. And if you guys enjoyed this drawing, I have a lot more similar content up on my Instagram where I take my original drawings and I transfer them over to digital. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, just follow me at Sergeant Cheetos on Instagram, same as my YouTube. And when you get there, make sure to drop a comment and let me know you guys made it over safe and sound. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys can stick around for more content. And if you guys really want to help out your boy, just while I'm talking right now, just take two seconds, hit that like button. It would really help out my channel and its growth with the YouTube algorithm and pushing it out. And just other than that, I just want to thank you guys one more time. Comment down below. Let's have a conversation, guys. And other than that, peace.